Actually, we spend a lot more going out and talking to people. That's why I think no matter what uh, people say about Cerama, that's the best way to do it. Uh, the only thing is with the kind of media access that we have, of course, it's very limited. Um, I remember in 1998-1999 was a lot worse because you had to depend on just um, cassettes, you know. People mix pictures, cassettes, and I was 20, 21. We spent a lot of time and money duplicating cassettes and sending all over the place. Um, we are a bit more sophisticated now with the Facebook and so on. No? Um, but there's, there's a limit to that, you know. Um, I don't even know, for example, um, the Malaysian public now, whether they are not aware of the issues. I have a feeling that actually at least 80 to 90 percent of our voters actually are aware of the issues. They are aware that the system is rotten. Those who voted for BN understand the damage that BN is doing. Um, it's just a question of there are two or three um, so-called um, issues which stop them from crossing the line and voting or, or voicing out and so on. Um, and, and that's why it will always be a struggle because I do not think it's necessarily just a question of information not getting there. It was a different thing in 98, 99. It was true without the internet back then. But nowadays, with most people actually having access to um, Facebook, to Twitter, to WhatsApp, you know, even Felda old folks, 70 plus, nowadays play WhatsApps. So they have access to information. In fact, I think they have um, too much information for them to decide. Yeah? Um, the only problem is whether or not they think whatever information of malpractices, corruption, the decline, whether the concern that we share is shared by them. I give you, for example, Felda, Fultz and so on. You know? The whole world can turn upside down in KL, in Penang. But so long as the commodity prices are good, so long as livelihood in their small Felda settlements continue, it doesn't really affect them in that sense. Um, and I don't think we can blame them as a voter to feel that comfort that things are okay, irrespective of what we think outside the Felda settlement. So the challenge is, because of the disparity, because of the demography, because of the different views over the years, Malays, Chinese, Indians, um, uh, Sabah, Sarawak, uh, even among the races, you also have disparity, the, the urban ones think differently. Suddenly, messaging becomes extremely, extremely difficult. It is not as if you can go to them and preach about parliamentary reform. I can bet with you, if you were to go to outside KL and talk about parliamentary reforms, my Sharama will only have 10 people. <laughs> I, I, just, I just have to talk about Rosma, because that's the only thing that gets people around, you know? Um, and... and and lembu, you know, that kind of things. <laughs> Three or four years into being um, a politician, I realized that half of the time, I'm basically a stand-up comedian. <laughs> but that's, that's what is necessary, you know? And the fact that I got sued for being a stand-up comedian, that's even more annoying. Um, but at the end of the day, these are the complications of our society um, that I think is rather unique. So I, I, I don't think it's just a question of going out uh, to talk. It is about um, pitching the right message and therefore you can only prioritize. That's why I think different sections, you only need two or three different uh, big messages and you just hammer on that messages. Um, even then you will just get about three or four percent. And, and that's the sad part about the whole thing the most important issues of societies, for example, parliamentary reforms, institutional reforms, just won't get the traction as it is on the ground. You always have to bring 
you know, the committee and all the other things, package it, hoping that with electoral success, then you can bring the real uh, change. At least that's, that's my opinion. And I have not seen any change or departure from that in the last two, three years. It's still... And every time I change my script and try to be a bit more serious or statesman's like and not a, a stand-up comedian, I, they actually are not too happy with me after the charama. <laughs> you know, they were like, why didn't you talk about Rosma? Why, you know? Um, and, and, and finally, yeah, just, this is just our people. Huh? The worst thing is that they have seen that speech in YouTube over and over again. But when they come and they see you, they still want to see you do it live, you know? <laughs> uh, so, you just... That's just politics in Malaysia, I think, and it will, it will have to go through long years before I think we can really uh, talk about parliamentary reforms and all the serious issues <laughs> to the public, as we all hope to. Yeah, I think...